Um, in terms of England Saturday, how important is it that you try to avoid getting involved in an arm wrestle or a, an overly physical confrontation with them? Yeah, look, I think, Michael, uh, if we can get our set piece going, you know, um, and if we can make sure we get off the line, then that gives us uh, into the game and um, we can work from there. You know, we've played against them a few times and uh, the, the arm wrestle is going to come. It's just uh, who's going to adapt with it better um, in that uh, certain time on the pitch. Will you try to bring as much variety to your game as possible? Because previously that's been rather successful in scoring tries against them at Twickenham. Yeah, well, I think uh, with the last few weeks we've um, had a good variety. Um, what we were doing, you know, we were trying to um, yeah, use the ball into space, you know. So I think not a lot will change from um, the last few weeks. Um, we're not going to change what's working for us. Now you must be delighted to be back into the starting team. You're you're in uh, jersey six on this occasion. Can you just talk about the difference of playing in six as a thing from eight and and, and the different roles? Yeah, well, it's uh, yeah, it's always great to be back in the starting side. You know, um, to get that opportunity again. Uh, look, we're in it as a group, you know, and I think um, just talking about the loose forwards, um, we're a, a close knit group of five, you know, so we all know that. Um, we're going to get opportunity, so ah, not a lot of changes for me. Um, I think we've got uh, unbelievable personnel on the pitch and from the start, and then with Will coming on, um, it's going to bring a lot of energy and, and make a difference, you know. So, no, a lot of, not a lot of change for me. It's just literally the number on the back. Um, I cover uh, a few positions, um, and so does all of them, so it's not a big change. And just the last question from me, can I ask you about James Ryan? He's the captain now. What does he bring and what kind of a, a fellow is he? Does he does he do a lot of chatting or is he one of these fellows who leads by his actions? I think uh, when he came into the squad, you know, someone that leads with his, his examples, you know, and I think he's really grow, grew in that uh, that role. Um, it's been great seeing him grow in the squad and in himself, you know, so it's unbelievable to see the growth. And he's someone that uh, talks in the right times. Um, I think he's really improved that part of it you know he's a, he's an all-round uh, he's an all-round captain you know so the best thing about him he leads he leads uh, with the charge you know uh, on the pitch with the example and then um, when he talks people listen you know so um, it's um, I'm excited to uh, see him with the armband Thanks, Matt. Best of luck. Cheers, Michael. CJ, there was um, a bit of niggle there um, in the game in February between yourself and Atoji and yourself and Owen Farrell as well, in, in particular at one stage. has What's Andy's message been like? You know, get involved in that niggle or ignore that niggle or what, what's that like? Was he? Oh, no, I'm only joking. Uh, and no, I uh, probably got caught, um, uh, yeah, just at the right time, at the right place, you know. So, look, those things happen in the game. And uh, I think, um, especially against England, they, uh, they try to get in the game that way. So, uh, I think it's down to each individual. Um, there hasn't really been a message. It's just uh, what um, you bring to the game and, and how you deal with that situation. You know, so uh, look if there's a scuffle and I'm in the middle of it. I know uh, I got I'm backed by by the team and so does everyone else. But what's it like when it's the head coach's son that you're getting involved with in the niggle? Uh, ah, not, on the pitch, it's just like this is another guy, you know. Um, you just want to get into him and uh, just do your thing, and then afterwards, it's actually a few laughs, you know. I think if uh, if, if if I was a bit, bit younger and a bit unsecure, I would have been, oh, it's going to be in trouble here. But look, we've got a job to do, and he's the, he's our head coach, you know, and uh, he backs us and we back him, you know. So we go up against England, and uh, it's us against them. So he backs us. Final one for me. Um, obviously, some damaging defeats to England, you know, in Twickenham the last year. Or so, what, why is it going to be different this weekend? Uh, we've got some time under our belt. Uh, we've uh, played well, um, and we want to work on that. You know, we we uh, let ourselves down, down against France for sure, uh, and we don't want to be playing well and then just pitch up the next game. We want to we want to step away from that. So, going over there, um, we've said it a few times. We know what to expect. We know what to do. Um, how to change that is just go out there and play our game, make sure um, we get our set piece going and we get off the line and uh, play our game and not give them in. And if there's an arm wrestle, then make sure we're on top of it. C CJ, uh, how are you? Hey, mate. Uh, when there's, there's a lot of talk about you know uh, physicality when you come, come up against England, but if your set piece is spot on, which it hasn't been, like especially the line out, which it hasn't been for since you were winning trophies, does that erratic, does that silence all talk of physicality and matching teams? If your set piece is up to the level that he's wanted to be, yeah. how, how close are you to that? 
Yeah, I think uh, you just uh, answered yourself there, but uh, I'll elaborate on it. I think um, set piece wise, look, you have to have the ball um, and you need to have a good set piece, you know. And I think uh, in the last few weeks we've improved on that. If you go back to Wales, we actually got a few turnovers and our set piece was, was doing well. Um, you have to have that from the start in the game and then you take physicality away. You know, this game is physical anyway. Um, you can't just run out there and just. Uh, try to be uh, physical and, and play off, off sheet, you know, because you're uh, going to let the team down. So we know as a squad and a, as, a, as a group what we need to go out there and do to make sure we get those uh, set pieces uh, going and um, the rest will look after itself. What what did the Irish pack think of Rassi Erasmus uh, saying, like in a kind of a flippant way that they're soft when talking about how tough Wales are? How did that resonate with you lads, you in particular? Me personally or the whole the old phenomenon? Um, yeah, it's a bit of a challenge, you know, because um, if that is his view and uh, if that's what he believes, then uh, I would like to um, not really prove him wrong, but I'd like to uh, yeah, show him what we can do, you know, and what we've done before. Um, that is a big statement to make and um, he put it out there, you know, so that's that's his prerogative, that's his uh, thought about of us, you know. Um, that's, it's not going to be easy to change that his view, but um, luckily we're not playing against them this weekend. We'll get them. We'll we'll get them at some stage. But it, it, I suppose this all this all talk obviously you start to soft team. You're as hard as they come because you're playing for international rugby. But um, you're going to the place that is one of the toughest places on earth to play. Uh, again, I'm, I'm going back to how how much do you want to get dragged into that, or, or how much do you want to just completely play your own game? Like, or is it the same thing? Like. Oh, when, when we talk about this, because everything is about, seems like it's about physicality in Twickenham. What's your, how much does this come into your tactics? Like, uh, well, I'll tell you this: you can only be physical if you know what you're doing. So, uh, if we uh, we've had a good week, uh, we've prepared well, we know what we're going to do. So, um, you have to, again, it's come down set piece and um, get that flowing and get that going and get off the line and then bring the physicality we can bring. You know, in that um, you can't go out there. And, start away just look for physicality because uh, again this game is physical um, and it's international rugby so uh, I I yeah just looking forward to it looking forward to a battle I'll probably we'll probably see you after Saturday and then uh, we can talk about that again okay CJ Thanks. did you see um, did you see the Argentine and New Zealand match and do you think there's any lessons that you can take from a big underdog going for, to a tough venue or against a tough team and um, did you take? Do you guys talk about that during the week about what Argentina did? Yeah, we watched the game. Uh, unbelievable game to watch. It's one of those ones you remember where you were, you know. Uh, so we were lucky enough to play on Friday night. So we we, we at that time uh, to watch it on Saturday morning, you know. So uh, yeah, look, uh, the biggest thing there is just uh, they enjoyed playing for their for for their jersey and for each other, and uh, they came out and. Firstly, played their game, didn't make a lot of mistakes. I think their tackle count was uh, was up there and they didn't have a lot of missed tackles, you know, so that makes a big step, big difference. And you can see uh, they really did wanted to be in that jersey and they wanted to play for each other, you know. So we've, we've looked at our game in, as individuals and uh, we'll surely, um, uh, we spoke about it as a, as, as a group, in small groups, you know, about that victory. Because we, when we played New Zealand, I don't want to go back in, in, in history, but when we played them, I think that cohesiveness against a team like that is is important. So, um, going on to this weekend again, we just have to control our job and control our group and and, and what we can do. Thanks, guys. Got time for for one more there. Uh, can I can I jump in if that's okay? Uh, uh, CJ, will you talk to us about um, Kalen Kalen Doris as a number eight? And uh, obviously, he shifted you to six, which uh, it has a nice balance to it, I suppose. But what, what's your thinking of him as a number eight, like the skill wise, all the stuff you need? Yeah, he's uh, he's got good footwork. He's got a big work rate. You know, he makes the job. Uh, well, the weekend he made the job quite, very easy for the for the rest of the back row. You know, um, and just that touch he had with uh, Kian Stry almost. That's a uh, that's a nice touch he brought to his game on the weekend. You know, so. Yeah, and it makes it competitive, you know, because uh, we, we, we all want to play and we want to be in a group. So um, Monday is training, going on Tuesday, Wednesday, it's, it's competitive, you know, and that's what you need. You want to be on your toes all the time. Um, you don't want to be a certainty because then you get complacent. And uh, he's someone that's uh, got into the group with a lot of energy, 
brought something different with his footwork and he's up the work rate for the whole uh, back row. So uh, it's great to have him.